So today I just want to go over how I design and make the um, mixtapes that I do. Uh, I always start with some music or something like that that I enjoy game wise, anything like that. So this time I decided to go with Cult of the Lamb. I just got the game and I'm really enjoying it. Plus the music was really cool. So to start, uh, I just downloaded a bunch of pictures off Google. Right now I'm just copying them all and putting them on the same artboard layer. So I have them all in the same spot. And then I just resize them on my board. So uh, I can just kind of see what I'm working with. The layout that I designed for mixtapes, I actually came up with by like looking at a mixtape and then breaking down the math and sizes. So this, I'm just basically getting the size for the front cover because the front is on the left side instead of the right. And here I moved it to the back. I use the uh, eyedrop tool to grab the color that I want. So I then decided that I kind of like the art that they just have for the game automatically. So I put that in the front for now. Not really sure what I'm going to do. I did also like the fact of putting lamb where the music would go. The right side is where I'm going to put all the songs and like the song list and things like that. So over here, you can't really see it, but there's a drop down window and I'm basically just changing the opacity. So making the image itself uh, more see through. So it's not as like noticeable compared to the other art. And then I just put the word cult of the lamb, like the logo on the top. And really I'm just kind of messing around and messing with some things. I liked this art, um, but I didn't really feel like using um, I don't remember his name, the lost one or something like that. So here, what I'm doing is I'm actually going to create another box and eventually I'm going to do something called making a clipping mask, which basically takes whatever's under it and puts it in the shape of the whatever's on top. So in this case, it's the box. And here I just want to get the chain put at the bottom of the mixtape. So right there, I made the clipping mask. So now you're only seeing what was in the box. And I'm just going to resize it and then put it behind, again, the outline layers. Basically working with a lot of layers here. Copied it and flipped it. Moved it to the other side. And I'm going to click it. And now I'm just scrolling through the art that's below it. So you're basically seeing a window to what's behind. I wanted to make sure that they were from the same image, whatever's going to go here, but not the same thing. So it just didn't seem repetitive. Plus, you're not really going to see this one at all. It curves around on the inside of the mixtape. So here I knew that I wanted to keep like lamb and the whole art in the front, but I wanted to put the like cultist that you like recruit on the left side for like the mixtape, but I didn't really like anything. So I wound up going to Google and I found a larger image of the one I had. And I was like, this could work. I know I'm going to be cutting out some of the stuff on the left side and right, but it's no big deal. So again, just making a clipping mask. So I got the size I wanted. I take whatever's in front and I make a clipping mask. So now you're only seeing what's there. And basically I'm just trying to center lamb with the front cover. And then whatever's on the left is just going to go there. So I'm really just like tweaking it, making sure that it's like where I want it to be. This takes a little bit of time. Then I kind of want to reuse Cult of the Lamb on the front cover so you know exactly what it is if you don't play the game or anything like that. And then here I just add a drop shadow, which kind of just brings Cult of the Lamb a little bit off. I just put it on right now. Using the same like method, I kind of realized this is like a little trick you kind of learn that you could put the image of the same thing over the other one. So I'm just trying to line it up and get it like as close as possible considering I didn't just rip it from like Photoshop myself. So there's no guarantee that it lines up perfectly. So I get it as close as I can. And then I do a drop shadow again, just so it kind of pops off and it just looks a little nicer. And now that that's all said and done, we're going to go through and we're going to go to Spotify and I'm going to write the name of every song in order that it's going to be recorded on the mixtape. At this point, it doesn't really matter. It's just the songs. Uh, later, we're going to go through font and sizes and I'm going to re 
do like structures. So right now everything, I think it's like kerning uh, on the left side, like a book would have. And this time I just put it center. So now I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna just fix everything up because I want everything to be on the same line if possible. So I change the font there. And I'm just making sure that if it says like seven or something like that, then I made the font red and I moved everything over very slightly to the left and then up. And I'm gonna take a copy of this and I'm gonna paste a black font over it. So you can't really see it too much, but there is a red and black like overlay to each other. I think I wound up changing this because I didn't like the red. I thought it was too hard to read. So I went with black instead. And now that that's all done, we just print out the uh, page with the art on it. Take some time. And then I take it to like the Cricut cutter and I just cut it all out. There it is fully done. And I fold it in half, make sure all the lines kind of line up as best as possible. It's not crucial. Fold it down and then just bend the corners. And now I'm just going to tape it together so that it holds better. Normally I use like, it's like a Cricut double sided tape or something like that. I didn't have it. I ran out. So I just use tape and I just do like the tape wheel. It works. It's not great. It leaves a little bit of like bubbling I guess on the paper when you fold it but it's still it's fine this is just for me and it's just for fun and now to make sure that my lines and my folds are crisp I just use a ruler to hold the place and I just use my fingers to push it against and yeah Then I move it down slightly and I do the other side and you can kind of see there the papers splitting a little bit. That's the problem with using like rolled tape instead of just like double sided. So this is just me fixing it and bending it a little bit. When it gets put in the mixtape and you actually like the case and you put the mixtape with it, uh, you don't really have that issue. It eventually just like bends it to shape. So it's just me tweaking with it a little bit, but no biggie. Then we take a empty mixtape case. Uh, this is just an extra one I had. It's a little broke, but it's like one of the only ones I have left. And as you can see, that is now the inside where it has the music list. And there's the outside of it. And this was just me testing the mixtape out to make sure it sounded good. So we'll just throw it in the case and see if it fits. Yeah, it fits really good and it looks really nice. Honestly, I feel like when you print it, it doesn't look the best, but inside of the case with the glossiness of it, it really kind of makes it like pop and I like it a lot. And there's the chain. Like I said, you're not going to see the other side because it folds inside, but. And this was just me writing the tag for the cassette itself. I ran through a bunch of different ideas. I decided to put like the star on it that they kind of have in game. And then I tried to originally write it with like black Sharpie and then I wanted to go over it with some red so that it gave it like the red and black kind of like the look of the cover and things like that. And here's me just having some trouble trying to line up the sticker. There's a little slot that goes across the mixtape that fits like it kind of perfectly. So I always try to make it perfect and uh, yeah, take some time. Then I thought it'd be pretty cool to put the crown like I think it's pretty iconic for the game with the eye in it and everything like that. So I was just drawing it and I was going to cut it out a little later and stick it on the uh, cassette. So this is just me coloring it in basically. But in the meantime, while I'm finishing this up, I'm also still working on a Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire mixtape. It's going to have the music from game, all the roots and town music. It's going to be pretty cool. So that's coming out pretty soon. I'll make a video on that. I did do an anime mixtape where I made the cover look like a Shonen Jump with all my favorite anime intros. I can show that off. And 
More recently, I was thinking of making a Stardew Valley mixtape because I think that music is some of like the best uh, for like any game. And uh, yeah, I did make a Terraria one at one point, but I gave that to a friend. So I probably have to make another one for myself. And the only other game I think that I would make a mixtape for is Minecraft. But if you guys have any ideas, comment down below and let me know. Thanks for watching.